Hello there. Welcome back to Jenny Designs with Paper. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I'm working on a quick card with new to me products. So get comfy and let's get crafty. I am working with the Concord and Knight Sweater Seasons die set. There is a coordinating stamp set. I don't have it yet. I think I might need to get it. I'm also using the Spellbinders. This is the Labels 8 Nest Abilities and a Honeybee Stamps Autumn Afternoon Paper Pad. This one might be retired because it's their smaller size, but it works for what I want. And I will be using the um, a couple, like three different sheets of paper in here to create the, the card, the background, the sweater, all the things. So all things being equal, when I recreate this card, I will be doing a little bit of ink blending around the die cut images, especially if I am cutting them out of pattern paper and then putting them on a pattern paper card base. Um, there was just a little too much blending in or not enough standing out maybe. So I have cut out one of the sweaters. There are three sweater styles, one that is an obvious turtleneck, one that's kind of a crew and one that's just a regular round neck sweater. Don't know about you, but I cannot stand the turtleneck thing and crew necks are questionable. There are also three little caps or a couple of different little caps. Yeah, three I think. And a bunch of die cut design, designs you can add, including necklines, um, arm like cuffs and waistbands. Um, I did initially cut out the wrong neckline for this card and for, or for this sweater style and I had to go back and find the other necklines to cut it out again. But I have cut the sweater out of this kind of leaf foliage pattern and I've cut the, the neckline, the hemline, and the sleeve cuffs out of the same pattern paper that I cut the hat out of. And then the brim of the hat is cut out with the reverse side of that paper. And it's kind of like a, a craft colored knit kind of, it's perfect for a hat. And then I used kind of a braided knit sweater kind of background for pattern paper for the background. So I'm just um, using my Barely Arts glue bottle to put all these pieces together. Um, a fine tip nib does come in handy when you're using these little tiny um, die cuts. And liquid glue is kind of a must if you need to fuss and fiddle because double-sided tape, you kind of get one chance at it. So you really have to know where, you've got to be comfortable with getting one shot at it. <laughs> so. Um, I have the hat put together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to this original neckline or neck band, neck trim, whatever you want to call it. And I quickly realized this cannot be the only neck trim in this die set because, so this is the one that's attached to the part that cuts the um, hem and the cuffs. And then there's another die that has additional necklines. And I realized I have missed something. So I had to go back and redo that. I did try and have all the pieces cut out before I sat down to put the card together. So it could be a quick card for you. Like you can clearly tell, this is real time speed. I did not fast forward this and we're still barely at 10 minutes. So this was a really quick card. And you could do so much to these dies to make your cards just off the charts. I just wanted to go simple, but also I wanted to air more like fall because I'm not quite ready to go all in with the Christmas yet. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas, but my kids just went back to school. I'm kind of looking forward to a couple of weeks where I get to just be <sighs> by myself again, <laughs> at least until I'm at the school working. So I, I work as a substitute teacher. So sometimes I'm in the school no no days a week, and sometimes I'm in a school every day of the week. I try not to be every day of the week because that's 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 more than my I did not sign up to be a teacher brain can handle. One of the detailed dies in this sweater set or in this die set is a little zigzag, like a Charlie Brown zigzag for the cross in front of the sweater, which I cut out in the same color as I did the hat and the neck and cuffs. So it's just a little bit of an added detail. Again, um, next time I use these dies, I will be much more, um, I'll do something more detailed. Hold on. My dog's being weird. I forgot to make the door so she couldn't push it open. And because all the kids have gone back to school, she thinks she's lonely. She's not. <laughs> she's just a people dog. Anyway, I'm working on getting all the pieces together and I've got it all glued together. And now we're just going to quick put this card together. 
I did select a dark brown card base. This is um, a top folding US A2 portrait style card. That means it is five and a half inches tall by four and one quarter inches wide. So half of a sheet of cardstock cut on the hot dog, not hamburger style. If you've ever been in elementary school, you know what that means. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and score that at five and a half so that it will fold um, nicely, especially when you're doing these longer cardstock pieces. Sometimes they, they, crimp, they crinkle and kind of crease weird if you don't score them first because you're, you're folding it against the grain. All right, I'm gonna use this other bone folder to make sure that's down nice and smooth because this is a thicker, heavier cardstock. I have cut out, I think I used the largest of these um, spell, binder, spell binders dies. It's called labels number, number eight. A um, hundred years ago when I was really into and, and uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we had a similar shape and we called it a top note shape. So, you know, whatever. It's really, I've had these in my stash forever and ever. Um, I'm going to add the sweater and the hat down here toward the center bottom. I did move them up just a little bit. Um, one of the dies included in this die set is a little phrase that says bundle up and I did cut that out as well. I use the dark, same dark brown cardstock as the card base, so it'll pull it all together. So I am just going to pick those up with my crossed clamp tweezers or my reverse clamp tweezers. Wow, words are hard, y'all. One more month and I'm out of my braces. One more month and then maybe I can speak English again. Who knows? <laughs> so I'm going to glue this little sweater down. I did debate using some foam tape, but I decided we're, we're not doing anything fantastical today. We're just going playing with the new dies right out of the package. We're going to see how we can make them work. They kind of overlap that sweater a little bit. And then we're going to put the sentiment, the bundle up phrase right in that top left hand corner, kind of add a little bit of a, a less than straight <laughs> because if it's straight, I have to measure it. And we all already know if you've been here before, I don't like to measure. I like to eyeball because when I try to measure, then I try to math. And when I try to math, the numbers get you jumbled up in my brain, like literally I, I transpose numbers. And so it just does not work. Like my youngest son, he is in seventh grade. He's taking algebra one. That was my ninth grade math class. He's so stinking smart. My other kids are all like math is like not necessarily their favorite, but it is not hard for them. And here I'm going, um, I need two hands to count to 10. So thank goodness they take after their dad. Anyway, we are eyeballing, not measuring, short story long. Um, this does come with a little exclamation point as well. And so I made sure to keep the um, exclamation point and the little um, tittle, the little dot um, in my little, and these little bowls I got in a three pack at Target for like a buck or something at college back to school time last year. And they're the perfect size for collecting all these little die cut pieces when I make die cut cards. So I made sure I put the little, little dot to the exclamation point inside that dish and I can pick it up with my little um, pickup stick and put it right down on the little blue dot. And other than adding the white, card, white copy paper to the inside of the card, this card is done. Now you can see because of the paleness of the pattern paper for the sweater that, that I used for the sweater, it really could have used a little ink blending along the edges. And that's something I will do later to zhuzh it up. I did decide because I've got all of these gems and stuff on my desk. I keep them on my desk so I don't forget I have them because I found in a drawer a whole bunch of old Stampin' Up! ones I haven't used either. Yeah. So I picked out um, a, a set that had this brown and I was going to make him decoration. And then I thought, no, it can be the pom-pom on the hat because who doesn't like a pom-pom on their hat, right? And also on this sheet are some little white pearls. So I'm going to add, I think I just put three pearls on one side and two on the other. And then, then the card is really done. Okay. I mean, I did zhuzh it up a little bit, right? I did add a little bit of, of bling. I did add a little bit of something, something, whatever you want to call it, with the little pearls. Not that you can see them in real life because they're white. <laughs> And they don't, they don't stand out substantially. I did try to put them on the darker strip of that pattern paper, but you know. So here is a little close-up of the card. Hopefully you can see that sweater detail just a little bit better. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you stopping by. I have a couple other videos here that I think you would love. Um, I've also added that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would love it if you did. 
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you're ready for sweaters yet and have a really great day.